Nice to see you all. What a bunch of beautiful people you are. Lovely smiling faces, wonderful to look out in the crowd and see that. The boys are excited, I just had a good chat with them out the back and they're pretty pumped to be here. So uh, without too much further, further ado, I'll get stuck into telling you a little bit about the show. Welcome along to That's Good Footy, it's the only live and interactive footy panel show going around. This is where the fans meet the players and the players meet the fans. It's for the passionate supporters. I'm gathering that's you lot, yes? Yeah, okay, well a few of you anyway, all right. This is the show which allows you to see the players in a little bit of a different light. I'm ready, let's go, let's get into it. Essendon Show, it's February the 28th, okay. Please welcome to the show, he's our first panellist. He was born on the 22nd of April 1993. He's played a total of 125 games and he's kicked a total of 158 goals. He made his AFL debut back in 2016. When he plays for the Essendon Football Club, he wears the number three on his back. Could you please welcome to the stage, Anthony McDonald, Tevin Woody. Nice and excited, I like it. Everyone's a bit up and about. Isn't it nice to come out and just get that reaction? Yeah, it is. Um, it's great to see the Bombers um, supporters come down. So, yeah, thanks for your support. And how nice is it to have Tipper back in the, uh, in the sash? <laughs> and he proved that on the weekend, that little front and centre crumbing goal on the left foot. Mate, it was beautiful to watch. Poetry in motion, I'd like to think. Uh, I saw it as. Um, wonderful to have you back here on the show again. We're going to get into the show and have a little bit of fun with all these people. No, it'd be good. It's always fun. Come out and um, yeah, have some fun with you guys. So. Yeah, there you go. Good. All right. Hello. Nice wave down the back there. Nice to see you. Well done. All right. Let's get our second panelist out here. He was born on the 25th of July in 1997. He's played a total of 132 games and he's kicked 50 goals. He made his AFL debut back in 2016. When he plays for the Essendon Football Club, he wears the number three on his back. Could you please welcome to the stage, Darcy Parrish. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thank you. There's so much excitement in the room. You go from one side of the room to the other. You've got people jumping all over the place, and then you've got other people going, what's going on here, mate? This is all a bit too strange. Um, welcome to the show, Darcy Parrish. There he is. Wonderful to have you here, mate. Nice to have you back on the That's Good Footy panel show. I know when I actually inquired, I said, it'd be great to have you back again. He went, yeah, OK, that'd be good, Damo. Yeah, I thought you were getting sick of me there. But, <laughs> no. um, yeah, you, fans are keeping me coming back. So, um, yeah, exciting time of year. Games are coming up soon. So um, can't wait to get stuck into it. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're going to do now, ladies and gentlemen. As I alluded to at the top of the show, we're going to talk a little bit of football with the boys, both in and out of the club. Uh, we'll get into it now. Um, Pre-season chat and a little bit of discussion, boys. It's a clear Clean slate and a fresh start for 2023. How's the pre-season coming along? You've had an um, intra-club, you've had games, you've had matched him along with community games, and then your first real hit out uh, last Thursday against the Suns. How was that and what's it been, what's been the big take from it thus far? From your intra-club games, your community matches, your sim, match sim, and also the game that you played on Thursday. What's um, been the take? I think just the impact Scotty's had on our group already in a short period of time has been terrific. Um, we've got to work on our defence a hell of a lot this off-season, and um, we've seen it come out in the intra-club and in the game on the weekend. So we've had a lot of positive signs moving forward. Um, a lot of young guys have had good pre-seasons. Jai Menzi in particular. Mm. Um, young Davey. Three. Young Davey's flying around as well. So... Um, there's a lot of excitement, but a lot of growth still left in our group. And, um, yeah, it's been under the influence of Scotty, who's been terrific for us. Absolutely. What's it like uh, getting out and about and seeing the fans with the community? What was it? You went up, I think you went to... Yeah, I went up to Bendigo. Bendigo, yeah. 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 A, um, community Tell us about camp. That. So, yeah, I went to go and visit some uh, schools around Bendigo. So okay. that, was, um, that was really good. And we had the welcome to country at the start. So, oh, fabulous. Um, you know, it's always good to go out and see other guys yeah. um, out in the country. So, um, yeah, the boys really enjoyed it, so it was good fun. And we had the um, training session on Friday, so um, yep. everyone, yeah, turned up, so yeah. that was great. Beautiful, excellent. Uh, I know the, the footy diehard fan would be probably grateful that, you know, footy was back in somewhat, even though it was on, you know, uh, KO and Foxhill. I don't mind that, but the camera angles from that, that the other day, man, that was doing my head in. I know you guys would have seen that. The one thing that you would have had to deal with was the wind. What was it like playing in those conditions? 
Yeah, it was bloody tough. Um, with the last couple of weeks, our intra club the week before, I reckon it was nearly 40 degrees and it was blowing a gale <laughs> as well. So um, we've had some bad conditions the last few weeks, but um, hopefully it turns and yeah, we just start to see some good footy. Yeah. But yeah, the wind just makes everything so much harder, I feel. Um, Absolutely. Your judgment of the ball, um, even kicking the thing is pretty hard. Um, so yeah, hopefully no win this week on um, Friday against the Saints. Yeah, that'd be good. Absolutely. Um, I was going to say that things uh, structurally in that game, uh, they looked a little bit chaotic in the first quarter. I put that down to, obviously we haven't played uh, a game for a little while. Um, I probably put a lot of it down to the camera angles because you couldn't see what was going on with any of that. Um, I wanted to speak about Sam Wiedemann coming across from Melbourne. He seemed to um, show some really good signs in that game. Yeah, he's been really good, um, mainly in the forward line and um, is someone that can help us with his experience. Uh, yeah. um, it's good to sort of have that other uh, tall player um, in the forward line. So, yeah, he's been really good during pre-season and um, obviously showing um, on the match. So, yeah, he's been really good in the forward. It's, it's interesting because some players, when they get given a second chance at another club, they can, you know, come out of their skin. It would be great to see him be able to have that opportunity in the, in the Bombers forward line. Yeah, well, you can see what it did with Pete um, coming across from Gold Coast. Mm. Just new release on life and, um, yeah, just exposure to another club. And um, that confidence builds and week in, week out. And you see what Pete did with his game last year and hopefully Weeds can help chop him out this year. So, um, yeah, if they're up and going, we're going to be hard to beat. Absolutely. Um, Andy McGrath looks like he's relishing his roll down back and that sweeping type of roll off half back. Uh, but speaking of down back, your captain of six years, Dyson Heppel, has stepped down. He seems very comfortable with the decision that he's made, um, which is kind of good because he's probably going to have a little bit of time on the sidelines due to his foot injury. Can you give us a little bit of um, mindset into how Dyson's dealing with things that are going on at the moment? Yeah, I think he's still um, going really well, um, even though he stood down as a captain. Um, you know, he's still involved in helping the young guys and um, really vocal and... Mm. Um, you know, he's one of those guys where you sort of rely on if you need advice or um, especially the young guys. Uh, and like when he's in the, in the gym or obviously doing his rehab now and um, I was in the chamber with him and he's still, <laughs> still working. So, um, you know, he's still, uh, yeah, has a lot of um, involvement with the, with the yeah. boys. So, vocal. Um, yeah, he's very vocal yeah. and someone that has been there for a long time. So, yeah, yeah it's good to have a, a leader that is, you know, still active in that way. So... And he's got awesome leadership skills. Um, I'm sure that Zach's going to be able to rely on him as the rest of the leadership group will, and the you know, uh, senior players as well. Um, I wanted to ask, how's the midfield group coming along? You've got Shul, Merritt, your new captain, obviously. Congratulations, Zach Merritt. <laughs> um, and obviously you, Darcy. But I wanted you to tell me about some of the new, brig new brigade. Uh, Settlefield coming across from the Blues. Um, uh, Satis... Um, is that it? pronounced that? Sad? Uh, Sardis. Sardis. Sardis, yeah, Sardis. 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 Um, yeah. Caldwell, Martin, Cox, Durham. There's a good mix of experience and youth in there. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how that's all gelling together. Yeah, for sure. Um, we've been working really hard on our craft and our stoppage setups, and um, yeah, we've got a, a few new faces in the mix this year, and I think they just offer a little bit different dynamic um, to us other guys. Like Setters, he's a big body, clean hands. Yeah. Um, so we're all just trying to complement one another in there, and um, yeah, be an unreal midfield group. Um, that's what we want to get to, and. Obviously, we've seen um, Elijah go down with his meniscus, um, which was a shame because he was showing some really good signs for us early. So um, he's going to be a long-term player for us and, yep. um, yeah, we we'll, can't wait to get him back out on the track. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I wanted to just uh, allude to the fact that uh, I noticed a couple of the lads, obviously, have been working on their aerobic capacity. Sam Durham um, seems to be playing more in that old-fashioned wingman's role. He's got ability and agility both ends of the ground, but you can also throw him into the centre. Tell us a little bit about how Sam's progressing. Yeah, Durham, another pre-season under his belt, and yeah, he's an elite runner um, aerobically, so he's, he'll probably play on the wing for us this year, but I think a, a big thing for Sammy that we've seen in this pre-season so far is his ability to go forward and take overhead marks. Yeah. Um, so he's been on the end of a few goals already this off-season in our inter clubs and that sort of thing, so um, yeah, he's a unique player and, and can run all day, so yeah, got he's going to be one, on him. one to watch this yeah. year, yeah. Absolutely. Um, big Sammy Draper, he got his, um, his sights set on becoming not just a good ruckman, but probably one of the best in the league. It was great. He came out in the third quarter of that um, match that you just obviously played against Gold Coast. He seems to have a, not just a presence, but it's uh, like a, a youthful exuberance. 
He can't wait to get out there and play, and he's kind of one of those players that see ball, get ball. Um, tell us what it's like being around him, you know, in the, not just on field but also off field, because I see a lot of his antics both in the change rooms and out on the, uh, the, the training track. Yeah, it's always great to have, um, you know, drapes, I guess, you know, on the field and off the field. So yeah. he's someone that um, brings the energy. Um, yeah. You know, if you go to the club, you know, he's sort of a bit flat to go to training and, <laughs> you know, you see him and he just lights up the room. So, yeah. um, you know, it's, he's like, he's sort of building his game along the way as he goes. And, um, you know, he's going to be, uh, I guess, the number one ruckman in the competition. Um, yeah, and he's, he's done really well. So he's... Um, yeah, love playing with him, and he's someone that yeah brings the energy and stuff, and um, and the change rooms and stuff like that. So just watching him in a centre bounce stars, you're right there. You see it. You're yeah. getting it first hand. Yeah. He he comes in like a steam train. He gets the ball out. He's ready to go for the second effort. It it's, must be wonderful to work with someone that's got those kind of skills. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. A, a guy that size can do the things he can. Um, when he's goal of steaming the year out. Last the, year. Yeah, goal of the year. Yeah. I've haven't seen that too many times. <laughs> Yeah, but when he's steaming out of the middle, he's, he's actually really hard to catch and yeah. chase down. So when he goes, we just sort of let him go and do his thing. And, um, yeah, he doesn't like handballing it to us when he's on the fly. Yeah, how brilliant is it? Hey, a um, couple of little excitement machines I'm keen to chat about. The, da uh, the Davy boys, um, Alwyn in the midfield and Jaden down forward. Now, how are they both progressing? Give us a little bit of insight because you're probably working with the boys fairly closely as well. Yeah, I think, um, you know, Alwyn's going really well. So uh, obviously playing the forward line and... Um, you know, his pressure and his speed showed against Gold Coast. So, yeah. um, you know, he's still learning his craft, but he's someone that, you know, if you build a confident and you yeah. can just, um, you know, take the game on. So, um, and Jaden's just building up his fitness, coming back from injury. So, um, I think he's going really well too. So, yeah. yeah, he's doing all this rehab and, you know, he's keen to sort of get back and playing again, so, which is good. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the boys are like, they're loving it. So. Can I ask? This is wishful thinking here, but do you reckon there's a possibility we'll be seeing them play together sooner rather than later? I think the aim is with Jaden because he's coming off a couple ACLs. He's, yep. His um, recovery and prep hasn't been so great with that. Okay. So um, they're trying to really knuckle down on that um, for this year. Yep. So it might be a bit long-term process, I think. But, okay. um, yeah, it's going to be exciting to have them both out there. And they've got a great role model in Walla. So, um, yep. yeah, someone to help guide them and, yep. and teach them the ways. Um, there's no better person than Walla. So, yep. yeah. Absolutely, concur. Um, I just want to talk about Alwyn's game. He bobbed up with a nice goal, but he also showed good pressure both in tackling and in chase. He's got to get that from you. Yeah, it's always good to see someone um, <laughs> obviously putting the pressure on. So, yeah. you know, he's, he's really exciting and I really love um, playing with him and working with him and obviously Jai too. So, you know, it's, it's always good to have a, you know, other small forwards yeah. um, in the competition and you know, it's great to watch them because you just, you know, you forget what you can do and, yeah. you know, you see them and, you know, you get really excited and you <laughs> yeah, want to exactly. get involved. So, you yeah. know, love watching those two play and, you know, Alwyn sort of building his game along the way. So, yeah, um, yeah he's, he's, you know, sort of improving week by week. So, How which is exciting. good. How uh, exciting. Let's talk about the Bombers forward line structure. Stringer, two metre Peter Snelling, Hobbs, who is currently under a slight injury, um, which will most likely see him miss out on pre-season hitouts. But then you've got Perkins and Jones... And as I mentioned before, Jaden Davey and Tex Wanganeen. And of course yourself, Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody. Tell us what, you, what gets you excited about that, that group. And, and I speak mainly to you uh, of the forward line structure. Yeah, obviously we've got a um, strong forward line. And, you know, it sort of shows there's a good balance there with, with our forward line. So, um, you know, I think, you know, back in the day it used to be just, you know, probably your best six. But yeah. now it's just the whole forward line, which is sort of exciting because... You know, you can't, I guess, take for granted if you're going to play, um, you know, senior footy, so, yeah. uh, which is good and uh, gives us good depth and balance and, you know, obviously you've got Snelling and, um, and a few of the other boys, so it's, it's always good to see um, the list is strong in the forward line, yeah. so, um, yeah, excited to see um, yeah, how we go this year. You want line. people playing for their spots, you want that competitiveness uh, both on, on the track and also on, in the game. Um, speaking of excitement, I watched you, um, you read the play, I did speak about this before, but I watched you read the play, uh, when the pack went up, front and centre, crumbing and then you bang it on the left, it was poetry in motion. Is there any, anything more exciting for an Essendon supporter than watching that 
aside from the chase down and tackle of Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, it was so good to watch because uh, you could see you coming in from the right of screen, obviously when you're watching on TV, watching you come in from the right of screen and just that crumb and the way you read it and straight onto the boot. That, that also I know from the boys that are in the group would get inspiration from that as well. Yeah, obviously the um, you know Jai and Alwyn yeah. were right in, right in front. Yeah. So this is know, how it's done, boys. Yeah. What's this? Yeah, so you know getting the feedback from them, like you know I can't believe you know <laughs> you had that you know yeah on the books. So, yeah. You know it's always good to sort of you know play your game, but at the same time you can sort of help the young yeah. guys along the way. But um, you know I really enjoyed playing and. You know, I've loved being back um, playing for Bombers. So yeah, it's good, been really mate. good. Excellent. I love hearing it too. Yeah, for, for free. Not to, not to put any more pressure on you, because I am actually asking a lot of these questions directed towards you, but um, I just wanted to know how Rhett Montgomery and a Anthony Manakara are coming along under your guidance and your tutelage, as Darcy alluded to before. How, how are those boys coming along? How are they progressing? Yeah, Anthony is uh, coming back from uh, hamstring strain. So, okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's going really well. and. It sort of, you know, probably takes a bit of time to adjust to the, the culture and the environment, I think, in Melbourne. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, he's living with um, Tex Wengeny now, so yeah. it's always good to have a young guy with him. But, yeah. um, you know, when, once he's in the club and, you know, all the boys have been really supportive too. So, mm. you know, they sort of guide him along with his training and, you know, checking on him. Good. And, um, you know, he's sort of loving it. Uh, it's just, yeah takes a bit of time, I think, bit to adjust time. to it. Yeah, so, yeah. I hear yeah. All right. Um, separate to all this, who's been the standout for you boys coming back to the club? You've all come back after pre-season. You walk in. Who looks like they've got a real physical strength? Who's been working out? Who's lost weight? Who's, like, loves to get their shirt off in the gym? What's going on there? Um, give us all a little bit of insight. Who's impressed you the most? Um, oh, every time you look at Sheila, you think, what a specimen. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but to his credit, he's put a lot of work in the off-season. Um, it's the best he's ever come back to the club, so um, he always sort of looks pretty well. Um, okay. But I think he's running and, um, yeah, just his strength as well has gone to another level. So hopefully Good. we can see the best of Shearley. And um, I think another one we touched on him before, but Jai Menzi, um, his running has gone through the roof again. And, wow. Um, yeah, his footy's taken over as well. So um, they're two guys that come to mind. Can I just ask you, um, uh, off the cuff here, Darcy, that... that You've been at the club for now a while. When you first come, you knew what it was like for you. When you see these individuals that are coming through, whether it's just they've just been drafted or they're, they're coming into the mix, how much support do you want to put your arms around them and go, you know, look, you're doing really well and go and give them every piece of encouragement? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's always nice to hear um, the encouragement from your peers. Mm. Um, I don't know. The first couple of years, you're sort of testing the waters a little bit, trying to find what works for you best. But, um, yeah, once you find that, you, you try and stick with it. And, um, yeah, but it's always nice to hear what other peers are yeah. doing, older guys are doing, how they attack the off-season, pre-season, that sort of thing. So yeah. um, you always learn little things along the way. Like you said, I'm in my eighth year now and I'm probably still learning little things here and there. But, um, yeah, it's a learning curve for sure. Yeah, brilliant. Who's impressed you? Any standouts? Um... Yeah, I would say Sheely, you know, yeah. obviously um, had a newborn, so, you know, for him to come back and, you know, build his, his game and his leadership, I think it's sort of, you know, probably the, the leadership side of it that, mm. you know, has been really vocal and helping me and, you know, other, other players yeah. around him, so, you know, he's been really impressive of, like, how his leadership sort of gone through the roof, yeah. so, yeah, it's always good to sort of have that um, other leader on the field that, you know, he knows he's been playing for for a while now, yeah. so it's always good to sort of, you know, hear his experience and um, helping and guiding young kids, yeah. but more, you know, for us too, so yeah, it's been yeah. good. Um, he looks like he'd run in the Melbourne Cup. He's got, he's just got a, that kind <laughs> of, you know, physical structure and presence about him. Uh, he looks fantastic. Um, let's talk about the coach for a minute, boys. For both of you in your own words, what has he brought to the table? What's the first thing that stood out about his approach, his technique and his game style? What's the one thing that you take from a what you've seen up until now? Um, I think the way Scotty presents himself and he's very clear and direct with us. Um, being a young group, we sort of haven't had that um, confidence in our game plan and that sort of thing the last few years. But I think Scotty's come in, simplified it a hell of a, hot, hell of a lot for us. Okay. Um, and he's allowing us to play to our strengths as well, which is really important. We always want to 
play to our strengths as, as players and um, I think he's trying to bring out the absolute best in every one of us on the yeah. list. So, um, and combining that with our team system and that sort of thing, it's, um, it's all looking really positive. But he's really approachable too, um, loves learning and wants to get the best out of everyone on the list. So um, he's been great so far, yeah. That would be really reassuring, knowing that you've, you've been through a little bit of turmoil, you've had a couple of different coaches come through, you've had you know saga that's happened over a period of time. Nice to get stability back into the club. He's bringing that on board with him now. What's the one thing you've noticed about it, Anthony? What's he, what's he given to you? Um, yeah, he's been very supportive um, of me personally, but yeah. more, more the group too. So, you know, for me to come back, I think, you know, he was one of the person that, you know, changed my decision to come back and play. And wow. You know, he sort of wanted that opportunity to coach me and, yep. you know, I just sort of asked him what can he do for me and, um, you know, he's pretty much upfront, yep. honest and, Completely um, transparent. you know, yep. gives you that balance of uh, the structure there but, this, you know, you can go and play with your strengths. So, yep. um, you know, he's been really good for me and for other players and I try to encourage um, those young guys like the Davey Twins and yep. um, Anthony to go yep. and, you know, go and have a chat to him and ask him for wow, feedback great. or his gardens and, um, you know, he's been really good for me. So, you know, hopefully those guys can go and, um, yeah, talk to him more. And That's good. Know, yeah. Doors are always open, lines of communication. Um, what was his review or his assessment after the game on the weekend? I know it's just a, a practice match, but what did he have to say? Like, what, what, did, what did he take from it that he could pass on? And um, We went over it oh, pretty briefly the next day because um, we had a, oh, a few days off on the weekend. So um, we touched on just the things that we had focus areas on, um, like our defence. I, I touched on, we've been working really hard on that. Um, just being able to, I guess, the defensive stability behind the ball, which is really important. And then that chase pressure as well was another big tick of ours. Um, so the small forward's going to work, our mid's going to work, and just bombing it back to our spare. So um, there come some of the key takeaways that I think we we'll, might do a little bit more tomorrow. But um, yeah, there are a few things. It was a high, one of the highlights of the game is that you kept it in your defensive 50, you know? Um, a lot of the game, so obviously there's something you can take away from that. Uh, I wanted to ask you about this. How's this sound? Just you give me an idea, all right? Um, round one, Bombers v Hawks, Sunday, March 19, 3:20 p.m. MCG. How much you're looking forward to it? Um, well, I've got to get picked first. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, for me, I think it'll be um, you know really exciting. I'll be nervous, obviously, going yeah. back and playing, but. Um, yeah, I think it'll be a, a big game, I think, for the for both clubs. So, yeah. um, you know, the boys are looking forward to round one and, yeah. you know, it, it'll be great and it'll be challenging, but it'll oh, be fun. Yeah. 19 days away, I'm getting goosebumps. I don't know about you guys. Um, you're pretty pumped here. Like, uh, I know you've had a, a fairly exciting off-season. Uh, I would like to uh, obviously just congratulate Darcy Parrish on getting married. Um, congratulations, mate. Have you noticed any real changes in your life? Uh, no, nah, not too much different. Um, okay. So it's a month today being married. So month got, today? Yeah, got through a little hard period there. But um, wow. no, nah, just the weirdest thing is probably like calling Grace my wife now. Like, okay. Still getting used to that and um, <laughs> seeing, seeing her last name as my last name. So <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's a bit yeah, yeah, weird yeah. at the start. But um, yeah, nothing else has really changed. It was a great day. Um, everyone enjoyed themselves. And yeah, looking back on the videos and um, the photos, it's, yeah, it's really oh, cool wonderful. to look back on. So um, yeah, a special day. Yeah. Excellent. Um, and just that other question that I did allude to then, footy's back in 19 days. Um, you've, you, as I said, you have done a lot in the off-season, but yeah. you're back in, you're back at the club, you're doing training. Yeah, back to business now. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I can't wait for it to come around. It's a great time slot, um, hopefully a nice sunny day, so, yeah. and we get the win over them. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Oh, there you go. All right, put your hands together for them, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> I'll introduce the segment. Here it comes. It's called Simply the Best. All right, we've got um, the lovely Sarah and Wayne who are going to be uh, participating in this segment called Simply the Best. Um, and yes, yes, I haven't forgotten. She's <laughs> waving down there. She doesn't want to be missed out either. Um, so what's going to happen here, boys, you're going to keep score. Darcy, I'll get you to uh, keep score for Wayne. That way we can keep it in, uh, in sync. And then Anthony's going to be keeping, keeping uh, score for you, Sarah. Um, so what's going to happen, I'm going to be asking you a series of questions. As soon as you buzz in, if you identify the right answer, the boys are going to keep score and we'll come up with an adventure yeah. winner. Are you, could you test your buzzer for me? Sarah. Wayne. All right. They're working. It's good. All right. Let's see how we go here. Here comes your first question. Get ready to buzz in. How many premierships has your club Sarah. won? 16. Sarah. 
16. S correct. You're off the mark. All right. How many, how many grand finals has your team played in? Sarah. Sarah. I don't know, 30? Spot on. 30 it is. Well done. Sarah's wow. equally a surprise. Well done. Um, question number three. You want to test your buzzer again, Wayne? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Try it with this one. Uh, who is your team's captain? Sarah. Wayne. Wayne. Uh, Zach Merrick. Oh, yes. Yeah, well done. Good man. Uh, who wears the number seven at your club? Sarah. Wayne. Zach Merrick. Well done. All right. Two apiece. Here we go. Now, closest to within a thousand, okay, how many members did your club finish up Sa with? Wayne. Okay. 88,000. Uh, no, Sarah. Sarah, 86,000? 86,001. Sarah, you got it. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. All right. <laughs> Where did your team finish on the ladder? Sarah. Oh, oh, that was close. Uh, Wayne. 15th. Yes, correct. Well done. I should stop looking surprised, shouldn't I? This is wonderful. You guys are going fantastic. Um, how many games did your team Sarah. win? Sarah. Sarah. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm gonna say you're gonna ask how many we won. I'm gonna say seven. She'd be right. Yeah. <laughs> She's doing all right. This is very good. I wish we were playing. Who wants to be a millionaire now? All right. Um, what year did your team last win a grand? Wayne. Wayne. Two thousand. And for the second part of the question, who did they play? Uh, Melbourne. Good man. Well done. You get a point for that. How many? Uh, no, just one. How many points did you win that grand final? Sarah. Wayne. Oh. What do you reckon? Was that Wayne or Sarah? Wayne. Wayne. Okay, Wayne. 46. No, Sarah. Mm. 60. Spot on. 60 it is. <laughs> well done. All right. Who won the Norm Smith medal in that Wayne. grand final? Wayne. Heard. James Heard it was, correct. For two points, okay? It's five versus five, so scores are level. This is wonderful. Snail biting stuff, isn't it? Everyone's sitting on the end of their seat. All right, okay. Um, for two points, who was your club's leading goal kicker? Wayne. Sarah. Wayne. Peter Wright. With? 53. Wow. That's for two points. Well done. How's that? Yes, mate. This is good. All right, this is for three points. Here we go. First one that buzzes in. For player, year, and votes, who was the last? Is Sarah. Sarah. You're going to say Bradlow medalist, Joe Watson. Uh, sorry, sorry, what am I saying? Joe Watson, 2012, he polled 27 votes. Wow. <laughs> three. That was three. Wow. Listen, you two are bloody good. Well done. <laughs> I like it. Thank you very much for participating. All right, so it's eight versus seven. This is where your mathematics is going to come into play, all right? I'm going to give you three seconds after I give you the last number. You guys have to then give... You can buzz in, but you've got three seconds to give me the answer. I'm going to give you three Essendon jumper numbers, and what they add up to is your answer. Anthony, Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody. Dyson Heppel. Andy McGrath. Sarah. Six Sarah. 55? What was your answer? 55? Not 55, no. Mm. 50, uh, 56. No, it's mm. 65. You got 43, 21 oh, yes. and 1. Yes. 65. All right. Uh, here comes your last one. We didn't get it. So scores, are, scores could, be, it could be a draw here yeah? or it could... Anyway, let's go with it. Here's your three jumper numbers. Darcy Parrish... Zach Merritt, Dylan Shearer. Sarah. Sarah. 19. 19. 19 it is. Well done. Well done, Sarah. Good job. Well done. Wow. Well done. That's eight apiece, yeah? Seven versus nine. Wow. That was brilliant. Oh, my God. Uh, Wayne, that, that was fantastic. You don't go away empty-handed, mate. There's a footy for you, champ. Um, Sarah, that was fantastic. Seriously, congratulations. Darcy would like to pass you those. Look what Mummy's won. You've won a set of earbuds valued at $190 from Yamaha. Well done. Wow. Those two are two of the best contestants I've had. 
Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Wow. Simply the best. That was proudly brought to you by Yamaha and the Big Picture People. They're the experts in home theatre technology. The Big Picture People are located in Hoppers Crossing, Clyde North, South Morang, Cheltenham, Water Gardens and the Gold Coast. Well done. Sarah and Wayne. Well, I loved it. That was good. What's going to happen here, I'm going to read out player numbers. You've got to give me their full name. Not, the, not their, just their surname, not their first name, their full name. Okay. Their middle name? No, not their oh. middle name, no. <laughs> no, I don't. All right, yeah, we, yeah, let's go with, yeah. Their, yeah, yeah, their confirmation name, yes, and their d a date of birth, yeah. No, 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 yeah, that's not bad, I like that. No, you just have to give me their first name and their last name, all right? Out of you two, who would like to go first? Oh, okay. He's very confident. Okay, so Flynn's going to go first. What's going to happen here, Flynn? If you don't think you know the player, just say pass. All right. All right? We can come back to it if there's enough time. But if you think you know the player, just scream it out. The boys are going to keep score here. All right? So Flynn, Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody's going to be keeping score for you. And Jesse, guess what? Darcy Parrish is going to be keeping score for you. All right? So you can have 40... <laughs> kids in the playground across the road. Um, so, there's 45 seconds on the clock, okay? If you don't think you know the answer, you pass. If you hear this noise, you got it right. If you hear this noise, you got it wrong. Just keep moving on, okay? Are you ready to go, mate? Yeah. You look pretty confident to me, I like this. All right, here we go. Your 45 seconds starts now, number two. Sam Drapel. Correct, number 33. Braden Ham. No, Alwyn Davy. Number four. Kyle Lankford. That's correct. Number 15. Jane Laverdo. Correct. Number 12. Pass. Will Satterfield. Number six. Uh, Jai Coldwell. Correct. Number 24. Nick Bryan. Correct. Number 43. Tip off. <laughs> Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody. That's it. Well done. <laughs> number seven. Zach Merritt. Correct. Number 27. Pass. Mason Redmond, number 35. Matt Guelphie. Correct. Number 20. Peter Wright. Correct. Number 37. Pass. Nick Martin. What do you finish up with? Score of nine. Well done. That's okay, Flynn. That's all right. Well done, mate. Very good. How are you going, Jesse? You ready? You're going to have you got to get your, your time in the spotlight now. 45 seconds on the clock. Yep. Your time will start with the first one. Are you ready to go? All right, here we go, my friend. Your first one is number five. Pass. Okay, Elijah Titsis. Number 37. Oh, no, we did that. No, no, number 10. Sam Weedman. Correct. Number 13. Nick Cox. Nick Cox, correct. Number three. Parrish. Darcy, Darcy, Darcy Parrish, yes. 23. Harrison Jones. Correct. Number eight. Ben Hobbs. Correct. Number 19. Nick Hind. Correct. Number 9. Shield. Um, Dylan Shield. Correct. Well done. Number 21. Dyson Heppel. Correct. Number 11. Will Snellen. Yes. Nine beats. <laughs> You boys were fantastic. Seriously, well, well done. I loved it both. Um, the boys are going to pass you a football each because you, you, you both drew and you're both wonderful. Um, I, I can't split the major prize because they have to have a football. So uh, congratulations to both of you. Thank you both for playing. You should be very proud of yourself. Thanks, guys. Well done. How good's that? What we're going to do here, I'm going to introduce a segment. It's called Let's Stick Together. <laughs> All right. So the way I'm going to describe this to you boys, you play together but, and you're close, right? I'll give you a topic and we just want to see if you give the same answer. Okay, so if you can get, there's going to be 10 questions here. I'm going to count them in. One, two, three, and then you give me your answer. Yep. If you get 10 of them right... You guys are twins. If you get seven of them right, then you're mates. If you get five right, you're friends. If you get three right, you're strangers. If you only get one right, you barely know each other. <laughs> All right? 
So on the count of three... Pressure's on. <laughs> yeah, pressure's absolutely on. So on the count of three, I will read out, and then I will go, one, two, three, you boys give me the answer, and you're going to help me, Isaac. If we like the answer and they got it right, you're going to keep score. All right. Here we go. What's your favourite ground to play on around Australia? One, two, three. MCG. All right. One point. Give them that. Yeah, yeah, good. All right, they did it. Good stuff. Here comes your second one. Who's the, te who's the team that you like to beat the most? One, two, three. Collingwood. Collingwood. <laughs> I think they're more happy than anyone. How good is that? All right. Who's a bit tight with their cash at the club? One, two, three. Mason Redmond. Redmond. <laughs> All right. Good. So it's a, a... Yeah, Isaac, you're keeping up. This is good. All right. Which player gets his shirt off just a bit too much at the club? One, two, three. Pat Ross. Oh. oh, no. Okay, <laughs> different one. All right, no score there. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> try this one. Who is, the who is the bloke who thinks he's the funniest at the club? One, two, three. Nick Hind. Oh. <laughs> Obviously not Nick Hind. Yeah, Nick Hind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's give it to him. Why not? All right. You're going to come in on three. All right, here we go. After the siren, who is the player you want with the ball in their hands to win the game? One, two, three. Walla. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say me. <laughs> Walla and me. Yeah, I like that kind of confidence. All right, here you go. Just uh, you have to say either a day or a twilight grand final. What do you prefer, day or twilight? One, two, three. Day. Day. Mm. All right. Four or six. Okay, here we go. What's better, and you just have to say, what's better, mark or goal of the year? One, two, three. Goal. goal. Mm. Cool. All right, got that again. Who has absolutely no dress sense at the club? One, two, three. James, James Stewart. Jordan. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. All right. Okay. And just tell me whether this should be kept where it should be kept. Should tomato sauce be kept in the fridge or the cupboard? One, two, three. Fridge. C fridge. Right. Cool. You get it. That's it. You've done it. See? There you go. Well, if you have a look at the score, you're nine. So you're very close to twins. <laughs> How good's that? Um, well done, boys. That was brilliant. Isaac, I've got a little football. I've got a little football for you, which I'll give to you when you come over for the photo, so you can get it signed. Thanks for your help, mate. Really appreciate it. Good on you, champ. Well done. I just need to quickly wrap up. I need to tell you a couple of things about upcoming shows. Uh, our next show will be on March the first. That's tomorrow night. Okay, we are heading to the Italian Sports Club in Werribee for a Richmond show with both Daniel and Morris Rioli Jr. Then on March the 8th, we'll be heading to the Craigieburn Sporting Club with Collingwood's Tom Mitchell and Jack Crisp. Then on March the 15th, we'll be at the waterfront on the pier in Port Melbourne with Western Bulldogs players Jamara, Hugo Hagen and Tom Liberatore. Then on March the 22nd, we'll have here at the Mulgrave Country Club, Jack Steele and Jack Bytel joining us from the St Kilda Football Club. And then on March the 29th, we've got Adam Chera and Tom DeConing joining us from the Carlton Football Club live at the Italian Sports Club in Werribee. Then on April the 5th, we've got a Richmond uh, Tigers show with Toby Dan Curvis and Tim Taranto, who'll be joining us at the Craigieburn Sporting Club in Craigieburn. Then on April the 12th, Melbourne players Tom McDonald and Tom Sparrow live from the Mulgrave Country Club in Wheelers Hill. And then our last show to wrap it up, on April the 19th is Collingwood's Patrick Lipinski and Daniel McStay who will be joining us at the Waterfront Pier in Port Melbourne. Isn't that strange that you get Collingwood supporters being booed? Wow, OK. All right, remember when you purchase your tickets, only purchase them through the That's Good Footy website, www.thatsgoodfooty.com.au forward slash events, or click on the links in the That's Good Footy Facebook post. That's the only place where you can purchase the tickets. I just want to say thanks to Sam 
and thanks to the lovely Sandy. Um, they're my two individuals that, that put us, helped me put all this together. Uh, Jaden, who you saw walking around tonight, he's taking all the stuff for the social media, so look out for that. There will be um, images that will be going up of that later on uh, tonight and over the weekend. Keep your eye on that sort of stuff. Remember, if you like That's Good Footy, go and like the page, because that's where your photo's going to be. All right? That'll all be there for you later on tonight. Can I ask you now to please put your hands together for Darcy Parrish, <laughs> Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody. Thank you so much to both of you for making yourselves available. Um, the night went really smoothly. Um, thanks to all the fans that made that happen. Uh, in closing, what would you boys like to say? Um, yeah, it's always fun, you know, coming out and doing the shows and uh, meeting new people. So, yeah, thanks for all your support and hopefully I can see you during the year. So, How good. good's that? Beautiful. Darcy, anything you'd like to mention as we uh, sign off? Yeah, super crowd tonight. Um, great engagement from everyone. Um, and, yeah, always a pleasure coming back. So... Loved having, having you. Cheers. Loved having you. Thank you very much. Two wonderful ambassadors from the Essendon Football Club. Uh, good luck on the weekend um, with your next practice match. I can't wait for March 19th. That's more exciting for me, but, but anyway, um, I, that's how I am. Uh, but in saying all of that, uh, my name is Damien. This has been the That's Good for Footy panel show. Thank you, everyone. Great to see you all. We'll see you soon. Thank you and good night. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>